What's up guys, this is One UX One and I'm going to tell you how you can build a UX research report. So once you've done your UX research, you need to write that report, but how and where you're going to start with that. So the first thing you need to do in your UX research report is know that you've got the data that you need. So you need to understand that you have collected those user research interviews, you've got all those notes whether they're handwritten or whether they're on a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet or whatever you might be using. You might be using an app. So make sure that you've got enough data to write the report. And a guide for that would be five to six people that you've interviewed. And if you've done a focus group or not, you can do an additional focus group. So you'll have about between five and 10 participants that you've got your user research from that you're going to use to write your report. So you've done your analysis, so you've done a thematic analysis, so you've put the themes together of what people are saying. For example, or you might have done some research on a page and now you've gathered all the insights from the users on how they use that particular page. So let's say it's the page on the website in which people can select the items they want to purchase and then go to the basket and purchase it. So you're redesigning that page. You're redesigning the page where they select search and select the products. Now, if you're doing research on that, your report will be on that one feature. It won't be more than that. You don't want to write a report on every single story, as we call them stories. Epics are the bigger picture and then stories are individual things that you'd be working on. So you want to pick up a few stories um, but not a bigger picture like you wouldn't do user research on a whole website. You do it on one particular area that you've researched. So you've done your research and now you've got your data. You start with I'd say PowerPoint or Keynote, whatever you prefer with your Mac or a Windows user and you put together all of that information in a format which I'll give you now. So you start with who were the people that carried out the research. So you put a heading, you have a main page and then you put down your name and any of your colleagues that have done the user research and don't forget to put down their names. It's really important that you recognize people. So once you put down your names on the, on the front page, the next page what you're going to do is write down when you did the research. So dates, places, how many people, how many participants there were and what was the general type of user research that you did. So you'll you can open another slide and add in the types of data you collected and what methods you use. So you'd write quantitative data, qualitative data, you'd say interviews, remote interviews, you did focus groups, whatever method you used, you do that and you also tell them where you did the research. So was it with this particular department, with this organization? So where was it that you did the research, whether it was remote or it was face to face and which organization it was with. So that will take two, three slides of your research report and then you move on to a summary. So you're going to give a summary and a glossary or some sort of bullet points telling the users that are going to use this and read this. What is the report all about? What does it entail? So you're going to write down what was the story. So you'd write down the objectives of the research. You're going to write down what things you discovered, so just in headings. And then each slide after that, you're going to screenshot the website that they re were using. So it was user testing or usability testing. You're going to screenshot those and drop them into your PowerPoint or Keynote and use arrows or annotations or boxes to describe what they have told you, what the feedback was and how you're going to now suggest and recommend the solutions based on what the user said. So two things you want to do here, you want to screenshot and you want to have arrows annotations pointing at different areas of what user said and then you're going to have about two or three quotes per page from the user and in bold in those quotes you can have inverted commas. I normally have a large inverted comma and then three quotes inside it but you can have just inverted commas after each quote either way. But what you do, you put those quotes there and then you put in bold the key words. So if they said, I do not like this page because it's small, then you bold the small bit. So the keywords you will highlight and bold 
um, and then that's your quotes there and at the top you write some description of what the findings were so you can number them so they're easy to find and color code or mark those numbers with the annotations you want to add in the description so for example if a user said that they don't like this font then number one is font and you'd say user do, users do not like this font they would prefer a thinner font or a bolder font and then you can put a number one next to where the font is and a circle or an arrow and that way you can read it and you can also that directly links to the images that you're adding to your PowerPoint so you're basically creating annotations so that people can easily read the report now once you've done that with each one of the pages or features of the website or app you've started to build a picture of what users want so another thing you can add is an empathy map so you can add an empathy map if you did, if you did that especially with a focus group you ask them how they feel what do they think of the website how do they use it and what do they say about it and what their feelings and you can put that map in so you, you can have the four boxes and then add four quotes of what the user said about this product or this feature so that's another thing you can add is an empathy map and then what you want to do at the end is create some tables on the, in the, the last pages of your report and add in these sections so you'll have one section which is content writing so what did they say about the wording on the website do they want to change any of the wording for example you may have a website with a call to action a cta and it says purchase now and the users told you no we want prefer it to be buy now so you're going to change it to buy now so you're going to at the end of your report have all the recommendations and you can do that with tables and write so you write content needs or content changes and then in the boxes in your chart you're going to add all the content changes that you need the next page you can have is exploration and ideation so all the things that they potentially said we could change on the website or improve you want to include those in that section so you want to write down what we might need to just explore further so the users might have said you know it'd be nice if the layout wasn't so complicated so that would be a new area to discover or explore and the reasons that they gave so they may have said it's complicated because it looks too busy and that's an area you need to look at how can we simplify it and make it look less busy so that would be an exploration and ideation task and you would share that with the product manager if you have a BA which is a business analyst they would also be involved the UI designer and you have all these people that you can share this with and discuss what well, how are we going to create these new stories because the whole point of a user research report is to create stories ie work for the developers work for the UI designer work that will feed back to the user researcher if that's you to go back and do more research on that so it's all about action points so these last sections are action points content writing exploration ideation and then you're going to write things that are definitely users cannot live without so urgent fixes so you can have a section for urgent fixes for example the website doesn't work on internet explorer or the website doesn't work properly on chrome and you can't see the font or you can't see images or video doesn't play these things are urgent fixes you have a section for urgent fixes and then a last section you have in your report is further research needs so you add in there what you're going to do in the future or what the user research needs are and that goes in the last section and then a thank you page at the end that way you've got everything you need to present to your stakeholders i hope that was useful guys don't forget to subscribe like and download the free guides and I'll see you on the next one. This is One UX One.